Hello, welcome to How to Desktop Receive an SPO. So desktop receiving is the ability that all end users in Coupa have, and receiving SPOs is slightly different than receiving a regular purchase order. So an SPO is a standing PO, meaning that it is usually issued for a longer length of time, and a lot of times is issued for amounts or dollars instead of quantities of items. So today we're going to go over what that looks like and how to get that properly received in, in Coupa. So the first thing, there's a couple different places you can go to, um, to desktop receive. The first one here is your to-do list. And if your notifications are set up correctly, you will get notifications for things like this that say, hey, confirm receipt for invoice number. And then it'll tell you the supplier has submitted an invoice for $702 associated with your request and you need to receive it so that it gets paid. Now, this is the first place you can go to create a receipt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create a receipt. Now that $702 is very important for me to remember. Or I can always look up the invoice number and keep that in a separate screen. But for this exercise, $702. So I can see transportation for marketing. Now, if I click all notice, it's about to receive $41,000. So we don't want that to happen because I should only be receiving that $702 to pay that invoice that I want to get paid. So when you're receiving an SPO, the all button, never a good option. So I want to type in the amount here. Now I can tell over here that if there's no quantity and unit of measure, my purchase order and my invoices are all done in amounts or dollars. If there's a quantity and unit of measure here, that's when I'm going to be receiving in quantity type instead of dollars. So that's a good indicator as well. So once I type in my amount, I'm going to come to my receiving codes and in the accounting company code and property code, I'm going to type in my property code, which this will be on your chart of accounts information. In both places, the code should be the same. And then as long as I'm paying the whole thing and I'm approving all the whole dollar value of the invoice or the whole invoice, I don't need to use the short pay note. If I for some reason need to short pay this, like the vendor was wrong, they're overbilling me, or I got shorted one of these, I'm not paying it. That's when I can use the shorts to enter a note here so that AP knows why I didn't receive the whole amount, if that's what I'm gonna do. So once I'm done and I've selected my options, I hit save. The system is going to give me a green bar saying, hey, you've done this, you've received, awesome. When I go back to my homepage, which is where my to-dos were, I'm gonna notice that my to-do here is it's gone, meaning that I received the right amount and it now is processing for payment. That is how you receive against an SPO from a to-do list. Now, if maybe you don't have a to-do list, you can always go into your activity and from a requisition standpoint, I'm going to see that I have all these little trucks. The truck does not mean that I should receive it. It means I can receive it. So when I see things that are in here with a little truck, that means that it's, an or it's been ordered and it just hasn't been fully received so that I actually can go in and receive things like this. So you can see I have a lot of different trucks. Instead of scrolling through here to see what is available for receipt and isn't, I can actually use my view to say pending receipt, which means these are all my orders that still have something to be received against them. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically looking at, these are all of my open orders and I can see I have two SPOs here and I know they're SPOs because this is a maintenance agreement and you can see it goes over years. And then this is a huge dollar value and this is all of my transportation from my transpo company. So that's how I transport guests from airports. So you can see both of these have been received against and um, this is another way you can find SPOs to receive against. Now in this case, YesCo may or may not have submitted an invoice, but I know I have to receive this every month because they're going to be billing me every month. This is a monthly reoccurring fee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the little truck and I actually put a reminder on my Outlook calendar to remind me to go in and do this every month. Um, and so I can see in 2020, 
we have 12 each of these, so that means one per month. I've already received eight. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do my monthly receipt of one. So again, the all button would have me receive four. I should not receive four because that's the rest of the year, meaning that I'm gonna accrue for this early and it's gonna mess up my, my, my all my money and it's not, a good, it's not a good practice. So I'm only going to, I'm not gonna use the all, I'm gonna type in this month's fee and then I'm going to come down here, again, use my property and accounting code. No short pay information is needed. And then once I hit save, it's going to give me the green bar. I'm gonna notice my received amount went back up to nine because I have successfully received that one month. And then once the invoice is submitted, whenever Yesco gets around to doing that, the system's gonna know I've already approved that monthly payment. So th those are the two ways to desktop receive uh, SPOs in Coupa.